This is a quick overview of your clone funnel system. You're going to click on this access system button and then there's video icons throughout the system you can click on to access the tutorials. If you go to tools up here, you're going to see the option to import a template. So you can import any template online. You can also clone any web page online. Not all web pages will work, but I would say approximately 90% will clone pretty well into the editor and then you can use those to build your pages with. Then you've got your autoresponders and all these other tools here. You can also go to funnels. This is where you can build additional funnels. So your main funnel is going to be these pages. So you've got your home page, sales page, info page, webinar page, and then you've got up to 10 different product pages. So if you want to create additional funnels, then you just go here and click on build new funnel, or you can duplicate a funnel you've already built. To clone a web page, you're just going to go to tools, click on clone web page. And you can clone pretty much any page online. Like I said, about 90% will work. There will be some that won't work, especially certain WordPress pages. There's some pages that just the coding is not going to be compatible with the drag and drop editor. So what we're going to do here is we go to tools, click on clone web page. Then once you've cloned a web page, you can go to import template and you can click on installed templates and then you can import the page that you've cloned as a template to whatever page you want to build. So you've got your website page builder, you've got up to four pages for each funnel plus 10 additional product pages for each funnel and then you can build unlimited funnels and then you've also got your checkout upsell popovers, your headers, so if you want to build a universal header for your funnel pages, your product pages, membership pages, your website pages, You've also got your membership purchase page, a membership access page, so that's what they'll go to after they pay for your membership, and then additional membership pages. And so you just import the template to whatever page you want to build and then start from there. So once you've imported a template, it's pretty easy to just go in to the drag and drop editor and edit the page. So I'm just gonna open the editor here. So some of the features in the drag and drop editor Right here to the far right, this is the mode that puts the editor into no style mode. So the reason you want to use this is sometimes you'll have images and things in the templates that are covered or background images that you can't get to on the page. So you could put this into no style mode and then you'll be able to go in and change those images and other, other things that are covered by layers. You can also go to the layer manager here to hide certain layers that are on top of other layers but that's a little more complicated sometimes it's easier just to go into the no style mode this is the drag and drop editor mode we've got this icon here what this does is if you notice if you just click on a, a certain section and then try to drag it you're going to see that in one mode it lets you drag things anywhere you want on the page like this and if you switch to the other mode, what it's going to do is make it so you just drag and, and move entire sections. So if you wanted to move this entire section from one, one place to another place on the page, you would just change the drag and drop editor mode and then you can move this to any section on the page instead of having it just move little by little like this. Of course, you've got your save icon here. This is a preloader disabler. So if you have a page that loads and has a preloader that doesn't get hidden on the page and you can't see the rest of the content in the editor, you can click on this preloader icon and that's going to hide the preloader in most cases. If it doesn't hide the preloader, then you can let me know and I will get the system updated so that it does. If you want to clear the canvas, you just click on this garbage can icon that will remove everything. For, for a clean slate, you probably never really even need to use that. If you want to edit the source code inside of the template, you can do that here. Uh, you probably never really need to use this, but it's available if you want to use that. You can also edit the source code on each of the pages. So for instance, if you go here to builders and go to capture page builder, you will see you've got a link here to view edit source code. So it's probably easier to edit the source code right in these sections than in the actual editor. 
So then you've got your redo, undo. Uh, you can also just view the code. You just can't make any edits here. And then this is to go into full screen mode. And then we've got this to preview how your page is going to look. And then to hide that preview, just click that little eye icon. And this is to hide the components on the page. And then you've also got your mobile, uh, tablet, and desktop view here. So you can change the different view. And if you edit the content here, uh, like make margin changes, things like that, then it's going to only be changed for the tablet and the mobile version. However, if you change things like the text on the page, then it's going to change for all versions. So you can do things like edit the margins. So if you go to the style manager, you can edit the text and font settings here. You can edit the size margin padding. Uh, you can edit the background. Uh, display anything here you could edit and it will be different for each different version here But if you actually change content if you change images or change text Then it will be changed for all different versions and then on the funnel pages You can go to step further after that if you want to perfect your mobile version You've got an, an optimized mobile version here and that will just completely redirect people that are using mobile to a different page so you can perfect your mobile versions for your funnel pages.